All right, before I head out to Soak, which is the regional Burning Man event in Oregon, I decided to test out Harvest Hosts that I just became a member with and booked a night with Gilbert Sellers in Yakima. I pulled in a little late. The store was already closed, so I just walked around the grounds and they're absolutely beautiful. Smell the wine? Oh my goodness. Wow. Gilbert Sellers does not only produce wine, it is also an event space you can uh, rent for weddings or special events, and they also have concerts here. It sure seems like they are a jewel in their community here. And as usual, remember to check the description below for any links to the winery and to Soak and the Burning Man event. It's all there for you. All right, we're ready to head out to Thai Valley for my very first Burning Man at Soak. So I'm really excited. See you later. <laughs> I'm gonna head out to the grocery store and get some food. I may have overdone it. Oh well. Originally, I had planned on attending the big Burning Man in Nevada in 2020, but then COVID hit and everything fell apart. This year, I reached out to the local Burning Man community again and signed up to volunteer building the major burnable structure as well as the temple. I really wanted to be part of the event to get the full experience of it. Here we are. We officially made it. We are here and I'm helping to set up the major burnable structure and I'll also help the temple. I arrived early for the setup so there's hardly anybody here yet. We still had to complete all the cubes for the major burnable structure.
After entering, first timers get to hit the bell. <laughs> And then it was time to put the temple together. A lot of people showed up to help temple crew with the final lift. The temple always plays a very special role in Burning Man events. It is a place where you can mourn losses, loved ones that you lost, or anything else you want to let go of. It will be burned at the end of the event. Gonna What's move uh, Misty with a trailer ballet. So. It's fine. No big deal. It can stay. Thank you. That is amazing. Wow. Wow, look at that. It's moving. We are moving. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that crazy? Are you dragging on it? Is there chalk running down? Nope, nothing down. Okay. It's very heavy. Very, very heavy. <laughs> volunteering prior to the event, during the event, and also easing into it and feeling part of it was, was really essential for me for the full experience. There are no vendors here. The only thing you can buy is ice. And everything else is gifted, even handmade 
noodles, like pasta. I mean, what a treat. Fresh noodles. Mmm, yum. <laughs> and there we go. Oh well. Me being me. the slow camera photo booth you can actually get an oil painting of yourself instead of a photo and of course we got one too glimpses for you of what the experience was like but the video footage does not even come close to the real experience there's no way for me it was mind-blowingly magical Then there was the day of the temple burn. Many, many people made it up to the temple during the last few days to mourn lost ones or losses or express themselves or whatever it was. The temple is loaded inside and out right now. <laughs> Temple Burn was an incredibly special moment.
Just imagine thousands of people being as quiet as they possibly can be, in honor of another human being or a loss or whatever they're dealing with in life. The next day, long lines heading for the exit. I saw a sign that said, don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. You're on your mission, porta potties? Ah, uh, yeah, it's my annual porta potty painting. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> I looked at how long the line's going to be and was like, mm, I know what I need to do now. Why did I forgot to do my duty and do the annual porta potty painting? Leave no trace behind. Walking up to the Temple Burn site. The burn sites have been cleared and cleaned and rototillered, and there's hardly any sign of what just happened. I guess it's time to say goodbye and just be grateful for the experience and I guess I will be back. Wow, what an experience. So I will 
head out to the Deschutes River to camp somewhere along the river there in solitude for a few days just to process what just happened.